Hello friends, so let's try to solve this problem. This problem is from CSIR NET 2024 June examination. The question ID is 705028. And uh, this question is from the quantum mechanics, mainly angular momentum algebra. So when you are going to solve this particular thing, let's try to see what are these particular questions. A quantum mechanical system is in angular momentum state. And this angular momentum state is L is equal to 4 and Lz is equal to 4. So this is just in L and M state, which is the common eigenstate of L square as well as Lz. So you have to remember this thing. What do we have to do? We have to find the uncertainty in Lx. We have to find uncertainty in Lx. So let's try to solve this particular problem. So again, this is a straightforward question, but you have to be very much careful that how you will go for this. So what is given? It is given L and M that value is equal to L is equal to 4 and Lz is given that means M is equal to 4. So this is given. And what is my Lx? My Lx is equal to L plus plus L minus by 2. And when we have to go for the uncertainty that means we have to calculate delta Lx. The delta Lx is equal to Lx square minus expectation value of Lx whole square. Expectation value of Lx square minus expectation value of Lx whole square. And we all know that the expectation value of Lx on any state Lm, that value is 0. So this term is almost 0. So what we have to do, we have to calculate delta Lx and that is equivalent to Lx square. So mainly we have to calculate the value, expectation value of Lx square. So what is your Lx square? So Lx square is L plus square plus L minus square plus L plus L minus my plus L minus L plus by 4. So this is your Lx square. And this L plus L minus and L minus L plus you can write in form of L square and Lz. So this whole term is equal to L plus square plus L minus square that is 2 times L square minus Lz square. So you have to be, keep in mind all this thing because unless until you will not remember all this stuff then it will take a lot of time. So we have to actually calculate the average value of this one. So when we are going to calculate the average value of this one, so we have Lx. So this is my Lx operator. The Lx operator is L plus square plus L minus square to 2 times L square minus Lz square by 4. And when we are going to calculate it on L and M state, then what we will get? The L is L plus square. So first term, so there are basically four term. The first term is expectation value of L plus square. Second term is expectation value of L minus square. Third term is 2 times expectation value of L square actually. 2 times expectation value of L square plus, sorry, this will be minus. So this will be minus 2 times expectation value of Lz square. And obviously 1 by 4 is always there. So 1 by 4 is there. So what will happen L plus square? Expectation value of L plus square is 0. Expectation value of L minus square is 0. The expectation value of L square on the eigenstate Lm. So this value, this 2 and 2 is cancelled. So 1 by 2 is there. So that value is equal to L into L plus 1. H cut square minus you have M square. So now we have to put the value of L is equal to 4 and M is equal to 4. So what will happen? 1 by 2, so that will be 4 into 5 minus 16, that is 4 square. And here we have h cut square, so this will be 1 by 2, that is 20 minus 16, that value is, we have basically 4 by 2 h cut square, so this value is nothing but 2 h cut square. In the last you have to be very much careful. So this is your 2 h cut square. Now we have to just find the delta Lx. This is nothing root under of this Lx square and that value is equal to 
root 2 h cut because expectation value of lx is already 0. So, what is your delta lx? Is nothing but root 2 h cut. So, h cut root 2 will be the answer. So, this is a straightforward question, but yes, you have to know all these algebra step by step and you have to also say, calculate that which term is going to 0 or which term is not going to 0. And once you can do this thing is a very smart way, then it will take very few time, very few minutes to solve it. Otherwise, it will be a lengthy question. So, students, just try to solve this question with yourself. This is a routine question. This is a traditional question of quantum mechanics. But yes, in the examination pressure, there may be chance to do error. Okay, thank you.